the famous or infamous trekking burger or cheeseburger in a can. These things are um, kind of hard to find. I actually have seen a few reviews on these and despite the, the reputation and the perceived disgustingness of this, it's something I've been wanting to try for at least five years, but I've never been able to get my hands on one. And I was lucky enough to recently have one sent to me by the great Steve1989MREinfo. Thank you. Well, I think I'm going to say thank you very much, Steve, depending on how this turns out. But uh, thank you for sending it along anyway. And I'm going to try this out. So this is uh, a trekking burger. It's uh, made or at least sold by ASMC.de. But anyway, here's the trekking burger ingredients. You can see there's a, a lot of stuff in there. Because this is all in German, so uh, German viewers will be able to make some sense of this. For me, it's just a, a lot of stuff that I uh, really don't understand. And this, uh, generally, you just um, submerge this in some hot water to heat it up. Uh, I suppose you can have it cold, too. It's got the nice pull ring here to open it up. And on the bottom, it has a uh, Best Buy date of May 14th, 2015. So we're going on a year and a half past uh, the date. In the best tradition of Steve 1989 Emory Info and the old food that he eats, why don't we try something that's uh, a bit out of date? All right, get some nice hot water here, getting close to boiling. I'm just going to go ahead and put our trekking burger in here. Hopefully, it's going to look like this when it comes out. You think so? I don't know. And I'm going to give that a few minutes, I'll probably flip it over, give that a few minutes to get nice and hot, and then we'll try it out. Okay, looks like it's time for lunch. Alright, and now is the moment of truth. This can is quite hot. I left it in there a little longer than I thought it necessarily had to, but I just want to make sure the heat could get all the way into the middle, and uh, give it as fair a review as possible. Also, you can see the label fell off. I did go ahead and keep it for posterity, and also in case it uh, was useful for the EMTs to see what I had just eaten, if it comes to that. Uh, and just to be clear again, this is a cheeseburger in a can. It's not a, a burger that you would put onto a bun. This is uh, a cheeseburger with a bun, with the cheese, and with all the condiments added, I believe, is uh, ketchup and uh, pickles, stuff like that. And when I think of a cheeseburger, I think of something more along the lines of this, as opposed to what I'm pretty sure we're going to see, or what I'm thinking we're going to see in this can. And let's go ahead and find out what is going to be in there. This is a little bit puffed up here. One thing I think is a, a good sign is that uh, you can hear it in there. It sounds bunny. Uh, you can hear it moving around in there, so I think it's going to come out without, without any problem. I'm not going to need to like cut it out or anything. Let's see what happens when we, uh, let's just turn this away from us just in case it does spray or anything. Oh, just a little hiss. And a smell of, uh, hmm. I don't know how to describe that smell. It doesn't smell like rotten meat, that's a good thing. And here is a sesame seed bun, which is pretty soft. Feels like bread. Feels like what a, what you would expect a bun to feel like. Let's see what the rest of this has to offer. It smells almost like teriyaki. I don't know what this, uh... I mean, I didn't cook this. It, I guess this is, uh... Okay, this must be like ketchup and stuff that ran out. From the top, it doesn't look too bad. Let's throw it on here. And uh, give it a look. Yeah, it's an odd smell. It kind of reminds me of um, like Japanese food, like a, a cross between like or Chinese food, like a cross between like teriyaki and, and sushi, which is not uh, really what you'd expect from this. The bun looks kind of bunny over here, but it's it's weird how it's cut. I guess uh, it was a cut from one solid bun. It was cut at an angle, and uh, the bottom, like I said, it's. Definitely better to look at it from the top. This appears to be stuff that ran out from the uh, from the burger and got into the bun. And now we get to check out what's inside of here. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's steaming. 
you know what, I think the way to do this is to heat it up thoroughly, because uh, this doesn't look anywhere near as bad as uh, the ones... Uh, I mean, I say that, and I know what people are going <laughs> to say. Look at this uh, interior of this bun. Looks like peanut butter on there. Well, I guess that must be the cheese. I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of a solid, a solid thing in here. But, um, yeah, I'm guessing that's the cheese, and it seems like it's already cooling off and hardening up. But you can see on the burger part, there's definitely uh, pickles. You see these green things here? And uh, I don't know if the red is all ketchup or if there's um, little bits of uh, tomato in there for the dressing of the thing. Uh, and some onions. So you definitely have onions, pickles, and ketchup that are um, identifiable. And the burger itself is this very, very square, like, I don't know if you can see how perfectly cut it is. It's like a slice. Like they've had a, a burger loaf and just kind of cut slices off of it. Maybe that was how they uh, came about doing this. Um, it comes off the bottom bun. I've seen these things sticking everywhere and it's actually the bottom bun is kind of a, a gooey. That might be the least appetizing thing so far. It's like bread pudding rather than bread. Uh, but the burger itself Maybe this is a, a German idea of a burger, but it's a, it's like a disc rather than a patty. Pretty interesting. So we have the bottom bun, we have the burger, we have the uh, ketchup, pickles, and onions. I'm not sure if there's anything else in there. And once again, we'll compare this to uh, what a real cheeseburger looks like. And also compare it to what it looks like on the can. I mean, not that you expect things to look like they do in the thing, but that's, that's obviously not quite what we have here. But you do have a bun, you have a burger, you have cheese, you have ketchup, you have pickles, um, I guess you do have tomatoes, you certainly have the ketchup so that's tomatoes, and you have onion. I don't see any uh, lettuce, I don't know if that would hold up anyway, but there are other, other little flecks in here too. I'm not sure what some of this stuff is. I guess that's more the pickle, more the onion here. And I guess that leaves us with one last thing to do, which is to taste this thing. You see the uh, sesame seeds in the bun there? So, top bun is uh, kind of on the soft side. A whole wheat kind of thing. It's not bad at all, the bun part. If um, it weren't for the fact that it was in the can and sitting there for who knows how many years settling, I think the bottom would have been okay instead of this chewy mess that it appears to. It's going to be soggy. But here we go. Let's uh, try this out. Hmm. Um... I'm hesitant to say not too bad, because uh, I know a lot of people have tried these and don't like them at all. And it's not something, if I went into a restaurant and ordered a hamburger or a cheeseburger and got this, uh, they wouldn't be getting a very big tip from me. But considering this is something that's been sitting in a can, and it's a complete cheeseburger with all the accoutrements, it's, um, it's not horrible. And of course, you're talking to somebody who uh, doesn't mind eating military rations, so... Uh, Take that for what it's worth. Uh, I think the thing that might separate this video from some other ones is um, because there's been a few videos on these and generally people don't like them. I think I'm going to try to make it into a bit of a uh, eating challenge kind of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this whole thing on, uh, on camera. And, uh... Hmm. Hopefully that won't be a bad idea. The burger is like a, uh, we can find at McDonald's, those really thin patties. It tastes, uh, feels dry, like it's uh, overdone a little bit. So we can see the uh, inside of the burger. I can't really cut that, it's kind of rubbery. Uh, you can get an idea of it here. It's not really like a 
chopped beef uh, shaped patty. It's, it really is like it came from a loaf. And the stuff on top, I am getting a taste of uh, some form of ketchup. I think I'm noticing the uh, onions and a little bit of taste from the pickle too. Hmm, not great. I definitely wouldn't want to live off of these things. If it was like an emergency kind of thing, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But I have to say, the worst thing about it, <clears throat> for me, as a neat experience, is this bottom bun. Because of the fact that it's so soggy and it's like dense with all the uh, all the runoff from everything else. Oh, and the toppings came off in this one. You get an idea there of the onions. I don't really taste the cheese. Uh, like I said, I believe it's this this brown layer here. It's kind of plasticky sort of brown layer. And I did want to try out some of the pickle on its own. I think that's what this is. Is that a pickle? It does seem to be green. Yeah, it's a pickle. It's got a little bit of crunch to it. This definitely looks like an onion. So, uh, although the evidence will be gone, let's go ahead and finish this thing up. You can check that off the bucket list, say it's something that we did. Look at that bottom bun. Mm. I mean, how do you keep something like that? Like it's fresh in, when it's sitting in a can for a number of years. I don't think there's any way to do it. Hmm, I just got some... Something that was hard to chew. I'm not sure what that was. It was a little weird. It was even drier than most of the rest of it. Um, yeah, I thought for that bottom bun. This would be somewhat edible. Now I keep saying that, and I do want you to understand. I'm not saying this is good. I'm not saying I'm enjoying this. But... It is somewhat hamburgery. The top bun really isn't isn't bad at all. A little bit doughy, but uh, it's actually soft, pliable. I will say I've had worse things in my life. Down the hash. All right, so this is more of a novelty thing than something uh, like a true ration, but as far as military ration type foods go, it's uh, it's edible. I, I don't think anyone would choose to eat this. I don't think somebody would have a, uh, a get-together and break out a bunch of canned cheeseburgers rather than grilling some burgers on their own. But uh, it is what it is. So thank you for watching. And thank you, Steve1989 and Murray Info, for making this happen. And we'll see how my stomach does in a little while. Thank you for watching.